Hi, I'm Jeff with Precision. Today, I'm going to show you how to install a WFK 1110-47. It's going to fit a 47 to 50 GM full-size pickup truck. On a scale of 1 to 5, 5 being the most difficult, about 2 or 3, not too difficult. Tools you'll need are PRP0075, rubber lubricant, a drill, drill bits, and a screwdriver. I'm here today to show you how to remove the parts on the 47 to 55 and a half first series GM truck. The reason we're doing it on this one is the other truck in the intro is being built for SEMA and everything was removed to start the build. So I'm going to show you how to take off the parts on this old truck. Let's get started. We're going to take out this outer trim piece that will give us access to the inner belt line right here via a couple screws. Push down to get the top off, and then we're going to lift up. Now we have this removed. The OEM inner belt line is held on with staples. You either have to get like a small air grinder to cut them off or snip them off, and you're ready to replace it with a new one. Next, to get any of the other parts off, you're going to have to take out the door glass, and you do that via taking off the crank, door handle, and this panel. Let's get going on that. Normally there's one more screw right here, but that one's missing. Now it gives us access to the glass. All you'll need to do is put the window crank back on and raise up the glass. And I'll give you access to four bolts right here that we need to take out. And you find that these are uh, clutch headed bolts in here. So we'll take out the four in here. And this one's actually missing, so we'll skip to the last one here. And now we're ready to take the glass out. So Greg's going to step in and help. So I'm going to lower it down. And he's holding the glass, so it's taking, it's taking this down. And we're going to drop it all the way down to the stops. All right, Greg, let's rotate the So what Greg's going to end up doing is rotating glass 90 degrees. And then you bring it out toward, toward the inside like that. The outer slides right into this channel here. What we recommend is using some of our PRP0075, which is our rubber lubricant to help ease this process. So we're gonna put some on here. Right here is where you're going to want to start. You use one hand to pull it, and one hand to kind of feed it, and just work your way to the front. Now we're going to come back and we're going to do the back of it here, same way.
binding up a little bit right there. You can take a weather strip tool and kind of work it right into the groove here. Now that we have the frame all cleaned up and out, we're gonna put the belt line on. And what, we're, what I'm gonna do is put a little bit of weather strip adhesive on the belt line, position it where we want it and clamp it down and then add two screws on the end. We have the belt line positioned where we want it. Greg's gonna hold it down for me and we're gonna clamp it Starting in the middle, and then working ourselves to the sides here. We're going to go ahead and drill a hole and put one small screw here. And one tip is to actually heat the drill bit. What this is going to do is help it burn through the fabric versus having the fabric wrap around the drill bit. Greg, you want to hit me with a torch? Now we're ready to put the glass back in and kind of do the reverse of how I took it out. All right, Greg. So as you spin it, you want to make sure you're putting it into the glass run. And it's going to be a little tight because everything's new. And get it right about here so you have a bracket here. And then we're going to put the crank arm back on and crank up the mechanism. Now, this has to come on the inside of it. So can you lift it up a little bit, Greg? Then we're going to pull this in. They come up. You're gonna want the holes in here to match up here, and then she's gonna slide right on. So. Then you're ready to reinstall the actual bolts here. And we're done. 
Last step to the belt line installation is put the outer piece back on and it's basically the reverse order of how you took it off. Obviously this one isn't ready for the show truck yet so we're not going to finish putting it back in but just put it back up and put your screws back in and you're done.